Hello, my name is Connor Gomes. I'm the lead developer on Pion Scissor Instrument, and I'm here to discuss a recent paper that uh, utilizes the instrument put out by our friends over in Roche uh, and by Vanessa Braun, uh, where they discuss reversible protein complexes, advancing subcutaneous delivery with controlled and sustained release of high concentration biologics. This work, which was published in the Journal of Drug Delivery Science and Technology, not only reviews how Roche's reversible protein complex approach to formulation development helps them achieve protein concentrations up to 250 mg per mil within a single formulation, but they also employ the scissor platform to understand how changing uh, these different formulation development approaches and methodologies affects the pharmacokinetic processes and behaviors that are seen during an in vitro test. Within the paper, there is a review of the scissor N1 platform. Uh, this is a previous version of the scissor platform um, that is the predecessor to the current scissor n3 platform as well as reviewing the instrument uh, you can see in table two uh, that roche uh, outlines all the different pharmacokinetic models that they were able to employ to analyze the release curves that they got from the scissor instrument for each formulation each individual formulation was mechanically characterized um, and uh, roche reports the viscoelastic properties with respect to shear rate as well as the injection force that will be needed to introduce each individual api at 210 mg per mil uh, at an injection site and uh, before and after scissor testing uh, each api was also analyzed about their uh, binding affinity and the ratio of high molecular weight species to understand uh, binding and aggregation kinetics uh, in the formulation itself To understand how the reversible protein complex approach to formulation development would affect the pharmacokinetic behavior of each individual API within the scissor platform, two different sets of experiments were done for each individual API. Uh, every dashed line will show a solution form. That would be a uh, protein just solubilized within a buffered solution at a given concentration. And each solid line uh, would indicate the release seen from that uh, re reversible protein complex uh, formulation. To quantify the linearity of release, as well as to understand any shape-dependent uh, release mechanisms going on that's causing uh, the release from the ECM cartridge of the RPC formulations, each model that was outlined in Table 2 was applied to each fit that was uh, collected during each scissor run in order to uh, get a mechanistic hypothesis of how each RPC formulation was releasing from the ECM cartridge. And based on the fitness of those models, the authors were able to suggest a surface erosion mechanism in which each of these reversible protein complex particles is releasing their API. Uh, I wanna thank you for your attention and we wanna thank uh, Vanessa and her colleagues over at Roche for the incredible works of science that they're publishing with Scissor. Um, we encourage everyone to go read uh, the publication as it gives an excellent overview of the Scissor platform, as well as a very elegant order of experiments in order to elucidate uh, API behavior and predict mechanisms of action. If you have any questions, comments, or inquiries, you can email myself or the product manager of the Scissor Platform Imogen and SSCU, whose contact information can be seen on the screen, and the paper can be seen in the description below. Thank you.